And he was described by some as an arrogant administrator and to others he was a development-oriented government representative. Benjamin Edu takes a look at the legacies of Kojo Bonsu, the former mayor of Kumasi, who resigned last week amidst intense pressure from traditional authorities. The Kumasi Traditional Council, who called for the removal of Kojo Bonsu, described the former mayor of Kumasi as disrespectful. The chiefs explained he exhibited gross disrespect when he refused to honor an invitation by the council for questioning the locus of their representative on the KGTR redevelopment project. But Kojo Bonsu's woes, according to some local governance experts, could have been resolved if he had chosen to dialogue with the chiefs. He could not stand the heat from the Mensha Palace and had to tender his resignation on July this year after three years in office. Even with his resignation, some members of the Metropolitan Assembly have accused the former mayor of financial misappropriation and want him investigated. But Kojo Bonsu has been credited with some laudable projects in the city. Paramount among them is the construction of the Kumasi's finest recreational center, Christine the Rattery Park. Though some assembly members accused him of inflating the cost of construction, the park is a toast of the city. Other projects under his watch include the construction of basic schools, expansion of road infrastructure, construction of bridges and drains. Speaking in an interview with TV3, the Ashanti Regional Director of the Department of Urban Roads, Theodore Kwe, said the former mayor helped develop road infrastructure in the city. In the three years, we did a lot of work in Kumasi, which is all part of his system, because all the work that we did, we consulted him, we had discussions with him, we had approvals from him, and we were able to do all those works. We've done some works under his administration. We did work at Dabai, 20 kilometers of surface dress roads. It was under his regime that we finished the Bremen UGC works. Some residents and traders in Kumasi spoke to TV3 about what they make of Kojo Bonsu's resignation. I think he had issues with the KMA. He did not heed to advice, so I think he caused his own resignation. The chiefs own the land here, so he should have collaborated with them, but he did not do so.